that's what's amazing, I think, is uh, we're not seeing what you, what you would normally see, meaning that like we're not seeing these 320, you know, 4s, 5s, 6s. Yeah, this, this place is pretty, pretty amazing, man. You might just be the luckiest guy in the world. You know that? Pretty good. Pretty good, good job, Mike might said, for a guide job. I would just assume having your own area mm -hmm. where you didn't yeah. have to freaking. Plus, this is pretty heavily guarded, I would assume, too, right? Oh, I mean, yeah. it's so vast that it's like, if you're in here screwing around, you're going to get in big trouble. Started back in about the 80s. Yeah. And then, then their population has exploded. And even in the time I've been here, when I started, a 350 bull here was a good bull. Yeah. We saw a 350, 360, we were killing it. Yeah. And we were only doing three elk a year back then. Where now, I mean, we're, you know, a, a 380, 390 plus average every year. Yeah. And we're doing, you know, seven trophies, 15 total. That's crazy. So I, I would say they've done exceptionally yeah. well over the last 20 years. So I think we're going to go set up. Uh, we're going to go down here. There's some water in one of these next canyons over here, but we're going to go set up. Uh, I think there's probably more here. So we spotted uh, 13 cows and two, two mature bulls. The one was a really nice bull. He was probably, I would guess, maybe 375, um, 370. What do you think? I think he's a solid 370s. Yeah, right in that range. Um, beautiful bull, though. Um, big old mature bull. Yeah. So we're off to a good start. It's not bad for 30 minutes into the hunt. Yeah, two more years, that smaller bull will be a stud. Yeah. That's the beautiful thing about what you got going on here. I mean, that that sort of bull will get two more years. Yeah, and, and most of these bulls that we're hunting, we've yeah. been watching for years and years. We know yeah.
more about you guys this morning. We're on Gigas, and we just passed the elderberry cutoff. Um, seen a cow and a calf. Number of bulls on my camera there, but nothing, nothing looks exceptional. All right, copy that. We're uh, working from east to west across Johnson Ridge. All right, 10-4. Um, pretty quiet morning so far, but we're just cruising to see what we can find. Yeah, one of the, the other guides spotted a bull, and I think he said about 14 cows we've got over here. We've got two of the cows spotted. Um, they're kind of behind the ridge, so we're just going to wait them out and see if that bull steps out and see what he is. I got the bull. Forest. I got him. Looks like a good mass too. You almost see like some veins running up that main beam. Mm -hmm. He's been on point just like that since I saw him. Hopefully he'll turn his head here. morning's been a little bit slower than yesterday afternoon, but uh, located a 7x7 seven seven bull down here. It's pretty impressive. He's probably top three. He's down here with about four or five other cows that we can see. Um, I don't think he's a shooter, but he's got great mass, great beam length. He's just a beautiful bull. So Mike spotted a really nice six point uh, down here, pushing about 24 head of cows. He kind of pushed them up, got some really good footage, and then he kind of drove them back down in these trees that you see down there. It's, uh, it's about 10 a.m. Um, it's getting to be right around 80 degrees. So it's, it's pretty hot. These, uh, these elk are just looking for any shade that they can find here in the heat of the day. So we just had a little powwow, um, kind of went through all the bulls that we had saw. We, Mike, uh, Mike had saw a number of different really good bulls. Biscuit had saw some up on top. He's got a really cool kicker bull that he wants us to look at. Um, amazing ranch here. And uh, this is probably just one of the greatest opportunities I've ever had. Still about 94 degrees. It's about 5:30. Got about good three good hours of uh, of scouting. We just needed to cool down a little bit, and I think all these bulls will start pushing these cows out into these openings and uh, giving us a better view of what's uh, what's in here. So we found a little bull over here with two cows. It's a little raghorn five. We're just gonna keep on you know, tearing this stuff apart, see if we can turn anything up. The elk were in here. They were pushing out into these faces, but, uh, but the sun just went down quick and we never really saw anything. But hopefully tomorrow we'll uh, we'll get another break, find some big bulls to look at. Is he a seven by seven? Come here real quick and look at him here. Yeah. Yeah, it might be. Yeah, he does have a. He has a tremendous front end. Yeah, he's almost out past his nose. Yeah. First light, located a bull, um, really good bull. 
He's with about seven cows. He's kind of making his way off into this bigger canyon over here. At some point, we need to check him out. Yeah, I agree. Could be the biggest bull that we've saw so far. Yeah, go ahead. I uh, didn't really copy that, got the pictures. Um, bull looks interesting, but I think this bull we saw this morning might have a bigger frame on him. Um, then Steven's got a bunch of bulls going down here that we might try and get to and look at. What was left? It's a horn. Yeah. Got like two down low. Yeah, he's almost got like a whole other little horn. Pork and horn coming out above that eye. He's a seven by 10. Cool bull. That is a very cool bull. Cow on a spike. Really? Mm-hmm. No sign of him. I bet he's still on this hill then. That seven by 10 was a cool bull. Oh, really? It's a hell of a bull. But you know, from the elbow looking across, there's that saddle over there? Yeah. Just above where that set narrow seven was? I, the cow was just below that saddle, so I don't know if they topped over there or not. He'd stop, he stopped and ate for a little bit, so I bet he's still on this hill. Well, we might just run over here and see if we can Do glass up. Do you want me to off. run over here and if sure. I, I can call you, and that way you're closer to here? checking trail cams and Cody turned this bull up and we knew he had been in here pretty recently and they, uh, he had a cow call and this bull answered back and we kind of worked off in there in the timber. This bull came in from about 150 yards away and came all the way in and circled around there for it's about 34 yards. Yeah, 34, 36 yards. That was pretty cool. behind them there's quite a few cows there um the bull's about 50 yards back from the main group of cows four of us here in the room. Um, we've all basically came up with a, a very close to 400, 397 um, and 395. 
um, is kind of where we're all at. We feel like this is probably the bull. I think we're gonna go after him in the morning and see if we can locate him. He's back in there, he's got his cows. See how close we all are tomorrow. Copy that. Uh, biscuit, the tracks were crossing over the ridge right when my truck is headed to the bear trap side. So we came back in there this morning where we had the elk, where we left them last night. And uh, we've got elk tracks across the road here on top of our tire tracks. And then we've located a, the herd and the numbers match up, but we haven't found the bull. So Steven's over on this other ridge and he's glassing back into here. And he's got the 14 cows that he was with last night, but we haven't turned him up. It's just a matter of time until he, until he works out of the trees and, and we're able to see. See what it looks like, see if you've never seen anything. The cows and the bull are over in this next basin, but they're coming around, they're coming back to their west. And we spotted a cow right here on Skyline. So we're just trying to get down here, get set up, and then hopefully they'll work down and come down through this basin and try to get over to where they were last night. He's stoked, man. <laughs> Good. Hey, congrats. Thanks, man. Good job, buddy. Good job. <laughs> Thank you. How far? Uh, 600. Nice. Right on the ball of his shoulder, knocking down. Right in the pocket. Good. 
He ain't shrinking, brother. Oh, yeah, he's over. <laughs> Look at the mass, too. too. That's what I was saying. Look at that mass. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's got, got a lot more mass than you think. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah I'm, I'm way under a mass. I'm at 64. And I think we're Look at this bull. This has been an amazing journey for me. Um, I think he's going to hit that magic mark. He's a little bit bigger than we might have thought he was. The guides have uh, an amazing history with this bull. They call him the Baytine Bull. They've been watching him mature over the last five or six years. We all agree that he's an old, old mature bull, and obviously you can see it in some of his traits. And uh, we're just lucky that we, uh, we were able to harvest this bull. If it's as big as we thought it was going to be, 20 and two inches, and that's what I'm doing. 20 and two, so. Here we go, guys. Holy <laughs> Holy <laughs> I got the three eights right. This is awesome. Dude, thank you so freaking much. This is my life's journey. Dude, I am so freaking happy right now. You have no idea. Wow. I don't know what to say. <laughs> Thanks, brother. <laughs>